Hi, thanks for joining this session where we'll be discussing the PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit, which is a media system used to differentiate pluripotent stem cells to cardiomyocytes in three easy steps. PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit is a media system for the differentiation of PSCs to cardiomyocytes, which are the predominant cell type in heart muscle tissue. This product offers a simple workflow experience due to its ready-to-use configuration and produces contracting cardiomyocytes that display relevant physiological markers, functional activity, and contracting culture. A benefit of PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit is its simple workflow experience. The kit is comprised of three ready-to-use media that are shipped at ambient temperature and stored at 4 to 8 degrees, meaning no thawing or preparation of reagents. Simply warm the medium and use. The three-step protocol is as follows. One, after splitting pluripotent stem cells and achieving re required cell confluence, change medium to cardiomyocyte differentiation medium A for two days. Step two, at day two, replace cardiomyocyte differentiation medium A with cardiomyocyte differentiation medium B, with no washing required. Step three, at day four, replace cardiomyocyte differentiation medium B with cardiomyocyte maintenance medium until the cells are contracting in culture or are ready to be assayed. Afterwards, you may wish to characterize the differentiated cells using human cardiomyocyte immunocytochemistry kit or continue to culture cells in the cardiomyocyte maintenance medium, which is also sold separately. Here we show the expression of expected markers over time, which turn on and off through differentiation as expected. During the early mesodermal commitment, day zero to three, during the early cardiomyocyte development period, day four to six, and then during the late cardiomyocyte development, day seven to 15, you can see the genes turn on and off respectively. Uh, this data is shown as TACMAN qPCR analysis of differentiated H9 ESCs from time of induction through day 30 and the bars represent the relative gene expression for each time point shown, normalized to day zero. Here we show cardiomyocytes that are expressing the key physiological markers throughout the development process. On the left are cardiomyocytes generated using the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit and stained using the human cardiomyocyte immunocytochemistry kit. Shown here is uh, TNNT2, which is a key marker of cardiomyocyte population, and NKX2.5, which is a late developmental marker. And on the right are sheets of cardiomyocytes at day 12, showing GATA4 and MF2C, which are mid-stage developmental markers, and MYH1, 2, 4, and 6, which are markers of mature cardiomyocytes. Here we show cardiomyocytes that were characterized um, following differentiation process using the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit. As you can see in uh, graphs A through E, uh, this is the gating strategy and expression of the troponin T or TNNT2 expression in H9 ESCs following 10 days cardiac differentiation. Um, and then if you look on graph F, uh, we show the efficient differentiation of the same ESCs on Geltrex or vitronectin matrices, um, and also the effect of the seeding densities shown on relative to TNNT2 expression. So here you can see that at a, a 1x seed on the recommended seed, um, using either vitronectin or Geltrex, you achieve upwards of 90% TNNT2 expression in your culture. This slide shows the cell response to cardioactive compounds. These were cardiomyocytes that were generated using the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit and then subsequently replated onto, onto multi-electrode array plates. Um, this data is important because it shows that the cardiomyocytes generated using this kit can be used to model the change in spontaneous beat rate of the heart caused by drugs, which can alter the activity of ion channels. The action potential shown represent the basic and most important physiological function of the heart. And when studying drugs or other environmental toxicants, it's important to know their effect on these action potentials and ultimately the spontaneous beat rate of the heart. So here we show versus the baseline in, in graph A, the effect of two drugs that induce tachycardia, one an L-type calcium channel blocker and the other a beta adrenergic receptor agonist.
So in the previous slide, you saw um, beating sheets of cardiomyocytes that were generated using the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit. Uh, these were cells that were at day 10 of differentiation. So they were being maintained in the cardiomyocyte maintenance medium. Here we show that the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit shows better efficiency um, as represented by the T and NT2 population and consistency between experiments as shown by the error bars versus a common protocol using uh, B27. And on the right, uh, we show that um, the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit is able to differentiate various lines. So here we show uh, an H9 um, ESC line, an IPSC line generated using the Cytotune technology, using the Sendai vectors, um, and an IPSC line generated using episomal vectors. Uh, this shows consistency across cell lines and its ability to uh, generate 45% um, or greater efficiency of TNNT2 expression in differentiated cardiomyocytes. So in summary, the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit is a media system for the differentiation of pluripotent stem cells to cardiomyocytes, which are the predominant cell type in the heart muscle tissue. This product offers a simple workflow experience due to its ready-to-use configuration and produces contracting cardiomyocytes that display relevant physiological markers, functional activity, and will contract in culture. The kit is also less variable, less expensive, and more flexible than other available solutions. Thank you for attending this talk. Additional information can be found by attending the booth at the 24 Hours of Stem Cells event and also in a poster that will be posted on the 24 Hours of Stem Cells virtual experience. Thank you.